welcome to the Niceville Valparaiso Chamber Business Forum for the month of August. My name is Tracy Wood. I'm a realtor with Century 21 Wilson Minger Agency, and I'll be your host today. We have several really good guests today. We're excited that they're here um, with, their, with White Wilson Medical Center, and they will actually be our um, September 2nd Wednesday breakfast sponsor. Thank you guys for being here. We have Mr. Alan Giesman. We have Dr. Connie Richardson and Dr. Meeks with us today. Um, Mr. Giesman, can you kind of give us an overview of White Wilson and the services that you guys offer? Well, first of all, we want to thank you for the opportunity to be here. Uh, when you talk about White Wilson and how long we've been around serving the community, it goes back, I guess, the genesis is Dr. White himself started on Brook Street in 1946. Wow. Uh, so that was a long time ago, and over time we grew to meet the needs of the community, and now we have over 75 providers of care, and we're one of the largest independent providers of medical care, physician services, ancillary services in the whole region. Wow. So we're really excited. Yeah. Y'all are doing great. Y'all are doing great. And talk a little bit more about the growth that White Wilson has seen recently. Can you tell us about well, that? I could uh, speak volumes about it because we're now uh, over 20 specialties. Uh, we do literally tens of thousands of imaging procedures a year. Uh, we're engaged in the Emerald Coast Surgery Center more than ever before. We're doing a lot of positive things. But the best testament I think we can give is the two individuals next to me here, Dr. Connie Richardson and Dr. And Meeks, and I'm sure they have a lot of interesting things to share. Well, let's let's just toss over to Dr. Richardson. Can you tell us about your practice and what you've got going on? Well, I'm a family medicine physician mm -hmm. um, in Niceville, Florida. Um, we have two other family practice doctors in our office, and then we have three pediatricians, Dr. Meeks being one of them, <laughs> um, and we also do urgent care there. Okay. Um, we see all ages from little bitty babies to all the way over 100 years old. Okay. Um, we do regular family medicine, and then we also have an urgent care clinic there that is open from 7 in the morning to 7 o'clock at night, Monday through Friday, 8 to 4 on Saturdays, and we also have the same hours at Fort Walton Beach and our new Navarre location. Okay. And then we also have urgent care in Destin, Florida, and that's 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, plus new family practice in Destin, Florida. All right. And as, long, as well as pediatrics. And that's just walk-in. You don't necessarily have to have an appointment, or how does that work? Yes, it can be walk-in, or you can actually call ahead and, and have a set time to come in. But it's same-day appointments. Um, for all of urgent care, and okay. then the primary care providers that are there. Of course, we do do same-day appointments as well, plus the regular scheduled appointments. Okay, great. Uh, flu season, it's right around the corner. Um, can you tell us a little about what to expect and how we can protect ourselves? Well, obviously the most important thing is to get your flu shot and get your flu shot early. Um, CDC uh, recommends that you need to get it at least two weeks before we start seeing heavy flu season. So okay. you want to get it into your primary care doctor, discuss your risks with your primary care doctor about getting your flu vaccine, and pretty much everybody needs to be immunized against the flu. The most important thing though is if you have any chronic medical illnesses such as diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, asthma, um, COPD, you want to make sure you get those flu shots in early. Okay. All right. Great. Well, thank you so much. Dr. Meeks. Good morning. And good morning. You're in the spotlight. Tell us about your practice and what you have going on. Well, I'm a pediatrician, board certified pediatrician. My background is that um, I recently retired from the military, from the Air Force, okay. with 24 years of service. Thank you for that. Um, I graduated from the only military medical school called Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences. It's a mouthful. Okay. <laughs> and since uh, retiring, I've been working with White Wilson Pediatric team and they do an awesome job. Um, we're at each of the locations. There's a board certified pediatrician at each of the locations. Okay, great, great. Um, tell us about the asthma classes that you offer. I'm very interested in that as I had a son growing up with asthma, so um, tell us about those classes. Well, I put together years ago an asthma group appointment project and in it that we go over the basics of asthma for self-care. Mm -hmm. um, I basically go over the A to Z of asthma in a group setting, so it's not you know, mm -hmm. a harsh medical lecture, yeah. in that we share our experiences, what's going on with asthma, all the decrease, missed work, missed school, and even though I'm a pediatrician, it's open to all ages with asthma, so kids and adults. 
Okay, great. School's starting back. Kids yes. always seem to get sick, right, when school starts back. Um, yes. Do you have any tips for helping kids stay healthy during this school year? Well, besides washing your hands, <laughs> um, like uh, Dr. Richardson said, is to get your flu shot and get it early. Um, I think of it as getting more of a cocoon around patients or around our kids with um, exposure to the flu at school. Um, some patients can't get the flu vaccine, so we want to get, um, especially the people with chronic medical problems, um, asthma has been my focus. Um, but as a reminder, um, children, kids can get the flu shot starting at six months of age. Um, so it's important to get them. Your first year of getting the flu vaccine, um, you get a second one within a month, but your provider will go over that. All of our providers know that in detail. Okay, okay great, thank you. Sure. Mr. Geisman, can we kind of go back to um, what your foundation has going on and what you guys are doing in the community with the White Wilson Community Foundation? Um, well, thank you. Uh, so, uh, about two years ago, we started thinking, how could we provide a service to the community um, that would get more community leaders and more individuals in the community engaged? Mm -hmm. So we were able to form a nonprofit 501c3 entity uh, chaired by community leaders. Mm -hmm. uh, Marge Cummings is our chair, for example. Okay. And we've gone out and we've done a, a, some things we're very proud of. For example, uh, we just we're in the process of giving $25,000 to the health department um, uh, uh, for women's health. Okay. We've also had a seminar on non, with nonprofits, and we had 13 or so nonprofits come to us uh, to say. Uh, uh, to see if we could provide some additional resources uh, for health care in the community. And we're in the process of making a decision there. Our board, our community board, is going to give another $25,000 uh, to certain community nonprofits very shortly. So we're excited by that. That's great. Uh, we're going to have, uh, at the end of September, uh, a, a uh, I think it's the 27th annual uh, golf tournament and we're going to raise some money and then next may we're going to have our little black dress uh, i think Always. it'll be the sixth annual mm -hmm. uh, i know dr richardson is a is a fixture there yes. okay um and hopefully the we'll get more engaged in the community and our goal incidentally is to make this the healthiest community we can great so we're really excited by that great and we'll be hearing more about the golf tournament and how em everyone can participate as it yes. gets closer to time yes Thank you all so much for being here today. I really appreciate it, and we hope to see you soon. Thank, Thank you. you.